Hello and welcome to the home of the world's most stupidest fucking MIDI guitar. Yes, we are back with Radical Larry, aka Scott Bird, in a TV taping match versus Jimmy Sierra, aka John Cena, in an exploding traditional match. Very nice, a great way to kick us off in this 10th episode extraordinaire which won't be extraordinary in any way, shape or form other than the emergent gameplay which we are very much used to by now there he is, another intercontinental defence by our boy Scott Bird Long time no see old friend exploding stipulation, so what that means is after a set amount of time, which is more than likely a minute or so, random explosions will explode around the wrestling ring and this very arena, which is more of a shitty hall come function room come little Bobby's fucking leisure centre birthday party where you get a little goodie bag with some shit Victoria sponge, a shitty fucking pencil eraser that doesn't rub out, a shitty pencil, them, you know them fucking cheap pencils where they're cheap and the lead's like really shit and it has the rubber on the fucking end of it and then that doesn't rub out, then a Probably a pencil sharpener. Probably doesn't sharpen anything. <sighs> Maybe a pen. Probably not. Uh, a Victoria sponge is probably broken in half as well. Probably because your friend's a cunt. Can't afford good goodie bags. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably all you would get in a goodie bag from a leisure centre party or maybe if your friend when you was little had a birthday party in McDonald's which in that case you're very lucky uh, yeah I was never a fan of birthday parties <laughs> as you can imagine on that extremely long tangent Jimmy Sierra with the exploding exploding match which hopefully will not damage us, will not break us apart oh look at him, he's on the offensive hell no, we won't go oh look at this, very very nice coming in John Keener oh he's up for it isn't he old matey boy seems to be the case when you are champion every match is a title defence which means more hard work for Larry which means more than likely the game is going to knob us off but we won't have it I also added about mm, 10 new signs user submitted, fan submitted look at me big head calling them fans Mad men for watching this video and mad girl. But no, thank you nonetheless. Love the signs. Scott Bird's almost got his finisher. There's a few suggestions chucked around for the tag team name for the. or for the. Scott Bird, Radical Flockers, one that sticks out in my recent memory. Oh, Larry's lost the lens. Do not do that, opponent. As you will go to sleep. Oh, and it's over before the explosions come. And again, please. That's for my other lens. Where's the explosions at? Oh, there it is. One minute until the blast. Oh, fucking hell, any other time. You wouldn't tap out. Never mind. Boo urns, I say, boo urns. The hell with this fucking shit. 
There we go, an exploding match with no explosions. Hey ho, and there we go. Very nice. Plowing our way through MLG, the most corrupt federation on the fucking planet. We need our fix of steroids, we need to slip money under the table for them dodgy refs. Ah, yes, I remember booking this myself. Pay-per-view. Pat Marshall, a.k.a. Rick the Model Martel, in a hair versus hair match. The opponent having 50% health, which will make this very easy for us. Although, if we do lose, Larry will have their heads shaved. That will certainly be interesting, although I do not think that will ever happen. In a million zillion... Kabillion years. Oh, belt to the Brazier. Uh, oh, Give me that mick, motherfucker. See, they're really hard. I can't have the free aim. Right, here we go. Ah, no. Physics.jpg in action. Right. Grab the razors. This is going to be a haircut match. <laughs> I was trying to think of a good pun, but bugger me if I'm one for extremely quick knittedness, <laughs> wittedness, quick wittedness, quick knittedness, pool and snooker, snool and porker. Don't know what I'm going on about. Doesn't really matter, really. Let's fucking. Shave this motherfucker's head. Bear with me one sec. I'm gonna grab a sheet weapon. Not that I can find any. So then I come again. Oh, baseball slide by Pat Marshall. No, 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 Mr. Pat Marshall. You're gonna have to try different tactics. So I'm far too nimble for your shitty canned animations. Let's have it. Yeah, I had a bit of feedback regarding the severity of injuries in this game. We need a bit more blood. We need a bit more missing limbs. We need a more missing lenses from glasses. We need more explosions. Oh, oh! Double high spot. Very nice. Come on Laz, you get your fat ass up, you sack of shit. Get back in there. Fairly certain when you win the match right away, you <laughs> you're not greeted by a lovely little cutscene aka Smackdown uh, shut your mouth in the Kurt Angle versus Edge match in the story mode. No, I think the hair model simply disappears as soon as the bell rings. Good old M. Dickey, eh? Styling and profiling. Certainly not styling. Let's go for the old slingshot or toss or whatever the hell you'd like to call that. Oh, very nice. Binaruni. Ah, oh, look at this little prick in his jumping attacks. Right, no, this tactics aren't working, so let's try this again. Here we go for the shoulder barge. Chuck him onto the floor, down he goes. Remove, or not. Remove the thing. Excelente. Chuck him in again for double the damage. Oh, you better watch out, mate. Slipping off that apron, oh, tisk tisk tisk, can be very fatal. <laughs> Don't worry about falling onto shards of glass in them halls of mirrors matches. Don't worry about jumping off top of the crowd barricade. No, slipping off that bloody ring apron. Oof, it's not good. Right, ref. Oh, we've got the crowd laugh dot wav playing as you win the match. 
Pat Marshall loses his hair. If you can see, that could have been Scott Bird with no hair. What a humiliation that is, eh? Down you go, have some grub. Very nice. So now Mr. Pat Marshall, aka Rick the Model Martel, looks absolutely ridiculous. There's no hair, no hairs barred. Let's see what we got. Can't remember actually how many weeks did we sign our contract for. I can't remember. I should have a look. <laughs> Pat Marshall has left Maple Leaf Grappling to pursue a career at Federation Online. Obviously, couldn't take the humiliation. Scott Bird is glad that Pat Marshall has left. A new year is upon us. You are now 32 years old. 32 years young. Meeting with the Booker. Oh dear, we've got a progress thing. What do you want, Booker? You're so fat, I'm scared to point the camera at you. Women are supposed to keep themselves in good shape. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What the hell? That is extremely interesting. Last man standing. Ric Flair. Yeah, whatever, mate. I think that's a world title shot. Very nice. Let me segue for a second. Do bear with me. Why was I called a woman? That would indicate... Where the fuck are you? Scott Bird. Appearance. Mal. Gender Mal. Okay, what did he say anyway? Put him down to 450. Fuck knows how you would legitimately lose weight in the game. I do not want to know. I do not never want to know. And I have in no hell I have no no intention of knowing or wanting to know. I know it's cheating by doing it in the editor, but ah. Oh. Come on, you know how painful this shit is. OJ Goodman, aka Owen Hart. I always wonder what would Owen Hart be doing, either in the WWE or, dare I say, TNA, or Global Force Wrestling. Well, what would he be doing if he was still alive? Interesting. Will he still be wrestling? Who knows? And sadly, we'll never will know. Although he's on the offensive already. What should we do, Larry? What should we do? Grab that long range weapon? Oh, look at him trying to defend. Didn't know he could block with weapons. Yeah, so the Booker's calling us a woman. Women st should stay in good shape, he says. Get your weight down. I think that's probably the first time I've seen a wrestler defend strikes, actually. Oh, miss. So we're going to miss. Very nice. Tactical throw there by OJ Goodman. Hey, that roll up pin's not going to do you no good out here, mate. Uh, yep, thanks for that. Let's grab that long range weapon quickly. Oh, it's seven, so that means referee goes full retard. Come on, just try it. Off you go. Oh, that could have been close. No, some of that dangerous falling off. Bonk. Time that right. Get the animation. Perfect. Just a standard intercontinental title match. Nothing to see here. Hopefully old Larry will not break a sweat. 
Let's see if we can squeak out a submission. Referee loving the belt over there. Go for the cheeky cover even. You never know. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, it's a 24-7 match, of course. So that means I have to have the last ball for the time limit, which is six minutes. Just over. So as long as we can keep our nose clean, so to speak. Oh, look at that. Modern wrestling games need to have the rope physics remove that invisible wall slash barrier. Do a suplex, over they go. Now what year was that? Was that... Oh. They did have that, didn't they, for like one year when they introduced that ultimate control bullshit. I think that was Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, the, the first on the... I want to say new gen, but now currently the old gen on the 360 and PS3. Where you could do a move and you could obviously control with the analog sticks. And even then, I don't recall that you could actually throw the wrestler over the rope. You could merely do a suplex, for example, and the wrestler would land on the ropes, which was a very first for the time. Oh, flying things there. No, no, no. Yeah, I would like to see more of that shit. Oh, watch out for the interruption roll-up. Don't even think about it. Oh, donkey kick, donkey kick. Double donkey. Going down on that double donkey diarrhea. Perry Class, a.k.a. Ric Flair, the world champion in the ring. What does he want? He's not beating me up, so that's a good sign. Double finisher. Oh, get a bit of heat for this. Sorry, mate. Not that we need to pin again. Scott Bird has taken the lead, even though he was in the lead already. Now, Perry Class is looking at me. Oh, very nice. Just try it, my old good friend. Cut, I didn't see, I was more intrigued by being called a woman, but I didn't see when the title match date was. So I'm sure it'll be very soon. Hopefully within this episode, I'd like to imagine. Sort of as a milestone sort of episode, and a milestone sort of match. For you guys. Aww. Oh, kick to the balls. He's dazed himself. He looks like he's stunned him a bit. I don't know how. Loving this bloody press. Is that a gorilla press slam? I'm not entirely geared up on my moves, but I'll try and do my best. Oh, roll up. Come on, Scott Bird, you're over half health. You'll see me doing the fast speed, and for some reason, when you put on the fast speed, well, not for some reason, I suppose it all makes sense, but sort of the time sort of gets eaten away. But it sort of doesn't match up to the in ring action, if that makes sense, which it probably doesn't. Nothing I say makes sense most of the time. But I'm only secondary to the emergent gameplay. That is this game. Ah, injury. Nope. Oh. Looks like he's got a hand injury of sorts. And I see a lovely sheet weapon there. So that means smashy, smashy double damage. Let's get us a fucking limb. Tear their bloody limbs off. Steady on Larry. Rule of thumb, never do any move that where you leave the floor when you're on weapons. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. What have we got? I think I see a missing leg. 
of all of the people to have the first uh, decapitation limb severance it had to be Owen Hart didn't it very nice yes we have lost a right shin there a right stump bottom half of his leg sorry shin calf No doubt it will be a false alarm, as the newspaper will mention. Deary me, you can't glue that back on with Prit Stick. Hey, hey. Have fun with that, you motherfucker. Yep, <laughs> we'll ignore that. I like to tear limbs off. Good to see, good to see. OJ Goodman sustained a serious leg injury and will be suffering with it for the next 10 weeks. What happens after 10 weeks? <laughs> oh, here we go. You made a mess. Pay us 10 grand or you're not booked. Whatever. Go fuck yourself. Hopefully that is not going to negate our title match if that was next week. I'm fairly certain if you get that dialogue it will pretty much cancel whatever you had booked regardless of its prestigiousness but we shall see hopefully not that would be a, a dick move to say the least mm, excuse me Scott Bird is glad that OJ Goodman has left Scott Bird has been branded negligent. Oh, it wasn't that bad. You can get a bloody leg to glue on, can't you? Stop moaning. Fucking fanny. Meeting the booker, what have we got? You followed my advice to lose weight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's uh, Liam Neeson. The strange man. The d fucking deranged psycho that is Liam Neeson, aka Qui Gon Jin, whatever his stupid fucking name was. And we are going to book. Uh, no, we want a traditional match, sorry. But bear with me. Cycle through. What gimmicks can we have? Loser leaves town? Nah. Can we have a straight up. Hardcore match, but with no time limit. I don't want a fucking time limit. Can we change that in this? I don't think we can. Team battle. See, why can't I, me and, well, me and someone have a handicap match versus whomever? First blood, they're easy. Last one standing, That's me. that means zero health. I don't know really, there isn't any... So, uh, so you can't set the fucking time limit, which is the only thing. Mm, ah, the hell with it, I'll see what that... Oh! Uh, no, you don't like the idea of that. Let's try again. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. Have a little click of the menu. Fucking retard. Anyway, what have we got? Brad Goodman, Brett Hart, I do believe. You've been awfully quiet backstage. Come to dinner with Brett Hart. Come to the Hart House. Yeah, we need all the friends we can get, especially Brett Hart. As he'll be moaning about us in the future on DVD features. No less. Scott Bird screwed Scott Bird, etc., etc. I 
Ah, it's a big night for MLG. That means pay-per-view. Is that going to be our favourite bloody title match? Hopefully so. Oh, we got a business decision. What do you make of Baby Ball? Baby Ball is the guy who sort of looked like Hulk Hogan and kept feuding with us for no reason. So for that matter, if you can see from the thumbnail, hopefully he may be familiar. Yes, get rid of him because he's a fucking arsehole, a tosser, a dinlo, a pleb. Hey, Scott Bird. Turn heel. Uh, no, I'm staying face. Oh, world champion. Challenging, oh, what's his face? Nothing booked again. Bloody hell, what's going on here? Call this a wrestling game. A wrestling game with next to no wrestling in. Scott Bird is glad that Baby Ball has left. I look forward to seeing the new wrestling game from M. Dickey. Seeing his new spin on the current day wrestlers. Bray Wyatt, no like, more than likely be called Bob Kaya or something like that. I'll just... Uh, Got another thing, a stat change. Get our agility up to 75%. Because we all know those things are a fucking pain in the arse. We're going to go into the editor like a prick and change it ourselves. Agility to 75, 76 just for good measure. No one likes training. No one likes half health during their matches. Oh, pay-per-view versus Liam Neeson, folks. Liam Neeson, one of our would-be enemies that deserves a good thrashing. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Larry's first. So what that means for us... Uh, 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 if we can be, if we can be so cheeky, who books this shit? Yes, you said it, game. If we can be cheeky. We're gonna grab some big objects. Oh, the fucking steps! <laughs> God damn, I hate the steps in this game. Pain in my ass out. We're gonna grab some obstructions and watch the hilarity ensue. As the pathfinding tries to get through. Pathfinding, aka Liam Neeson, our, or one of our many enemies, tries to get through and will hopefully fall and will hopefully die and will hopefully not go to heaven or whichever ready room. Paradise in your chosen deity slash beliefs or Bitcoin heaven that you believe in. That's where Liam Neeson is gonna go. Do bear with me. It will hopefully be worth it. Oh yes it will. If I can't get through, he can't get through. In there nicely, very nice. Oops, Daisy. Right. Uh, it's very nice. Hopefully, you won't be smart enough to go over the barricade like me. Right, here we go. <laughs> Get on, full for the trap. And also, as soon as he gets on the ropes, I'm going to bounce his ass off. <laughs> Pathfinding do not know what do. 
Uh, what do I do, Ric Flair? Uh, come on, you deranged fucking psycho. Oh, balls to you. Is he up on the ropes? Bollocks, bollocks. Shit. That did not go according to plan. Oh, boosh. Ten minute time limit for this one, so... Hopefully being hardcore. We're going to get some limb losses. Come on, let's do this registration of hits with this chair. Oh, no reversal. He's oh, very nice. As the Intercontinental Championship is always on the line when you're the champion, that limits us or puts us at risk, should I say, to how far we can go with our beatdowns because doing the shit we do takes its toll on us with regards to HP, health points. So as much as I'd like to beat on our people, I also don't want to lose the title. Oh, oh no, yes. Some of that patented break out of anything doing us a favour. And also, as Liam Neeson has Ric Flair as his manager, as soon as we're on the outside, we're going to get interference. So, being a hardcore, we can bring this fun inside. Hopefully without much interruption. Or reversal, should I say, as Liam Neeson, for some reason, is quite good at reversing. Must have a high, annoying stat. Oh. So, yes, I'll try and do my best to kill this man, one of our many enemies. Oh, and he's also one of those cunts that manages to do a punch, regardless of what you're doing. Oh, coming in you, little sausage fingers. Coming with me. Sitting powerbomb. Oh, so annoying. I don't see Larry doing that, do you? Oh, over he goes. Dangerous. Some of that fatal falling off the apron. Steady on Larry, you know that's bad for your health. Do I have the old hip toss in my arsenal still? Yeah, baby! Injury! Those TV monitors are devastating in this game. Right, one for the fans. Oh, no, some of that patented break out of anything you're doing. No, some of that patented random reversal. God hates this game. Who books this shit? <laughs> ah, I love the... Uh, I love the relevance of some of the signs sometimes. Beauty. Beautiful game. This game is art. Not sure of the extent of Liam Neeson's injury. Could just be scarring, facial scars. The only tried and tested way is seeing a missing limb. I'm trying to do a sitting bloody power bomb, but get reversed every single time. Nice. Right, let's grab that sheet weapon. Yeah, missing hand, motherfucker. What do you think of Star Wars now, fucking prick? Nice, that's good enough for me. Pile driver, oh, so good. Such a fantastic move. I do wish the old head smash would register with the weapons underneath when you do the head smashes onto things. <laughs> Power bombs and pile drivers, isn't it great? Slowish ref. Oh, and the crowd pops. Got a bunch of Scott Bird marks in the crowd. Must be in Chicago. 
Over we go. Onto the weapons. Yeah, so hopefully old Liam Neeson is in a great deal of pain. We will find out. Uh, semi severe. Six weeks, maybe? Five weeks. Good enough for me. Very nice. At least he's got a missing hand now. And a huge drain on stats. So when he's fighting us next time, he will get his ass beat even more. Yeah, the old injuries in this game do take their toll. So try not to injure yourself. Cameron Cool, aka Kofi Kingston, aka mid card up for life. I don't know what to make of Kofi Kingston. I can't stand it when he's booked. But I don't dislike him, he's just there. It's like, come on, do do something with the poor bugger. Oh Fandango and Santino Morella have more of a showcase. Kofi Kingston. But yes, segueing away. Our thousand dollar reward for our stat change. Ooh, Hugh Jazz. AKA the big show. I just want to kick your ass for real. The big show beefing with us for some reason. Uh, fairly certain if you say no, forget it. He'll beat you up anyway, and we'll probably have negative stats in some way. Do I want to risk a healthy week? Uh, I'm going to say no, but I'm sure you. Yeah, naturally. Hmm, so for some reason, the big show has a problem with us now. Fuck knows why. It's probably because we, we injured Liam Neeson and the game needs to fill its feuding, petty feud quota. Can't see who's in front of me, so I'm going to swing wildly. <laughs> sort of like in The Simpsons where Bart and Lisa windmill and kick towards each other. Obscure reference there for anyone. Anyone who is listening. Oh, look at him with the weapon. The nice thing with these backstage feuds is the damage from the weapon seems to be amped up. Or for the moves, in fact, I do believe. Obviously to simulate a shoot fight, I would imagine. Huge jazz. Hello, is that huge jazz? Don't know what your problem is, mate. But you chose the wrong person to fuck with. That's all she wrote. Stay down. On the floor. Thank you, please. Thanks for that. Sustained zero damage. Even gained some health back. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, we got our... is it our title match? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Fairly certain this is our world title match on TV for some reason. Giving away money. It doesn't say world championship on the line. Disappointing. Perhaps just a exhibition. Oh, belt to the balls, belt to the belly, more, more. I think he's very. This guy, he's very adamant with turning Scott Bird heel. Ric Flair, that is. Oh, we traded belts. Very nice. I didn't check the stats of this guy, but I would imagine they're fairly good being the world champion. So I'm going to be semi ginger as to my approach. Tentative. Oh, straight to the head. Over we go. Wehee. Have some of this. Doink. Speaking of dirtiest player in the game. 
Is it DQ? Oh, some of that fatal falling off the apron. And onto a weapon, very nice. It's a lot of blood. Come on you, let's have at it. Oh, that soon will trigger an injury. Of any luck? Very nice. I know this is a bit of a dirty tactic, but it works. Let me actually have no. Well, I fucking like to think we don't. Let me just see the clock when that go message goes away. One forty-eight, one forty-nine. Yes, no time limit, which is a treat. Ah, I don't know about you, but I did not see title match because it normally flashes up at the bottom, doesn't it? Saying blah blah belt is on the line. Well, oh, very nice ref. Double hit there. Two for one. Ah, see, that would be very interesting if Scott Bird was to permanently incapacitate Perry Class. Would that mean... What happens to the world title? Who gets the bell? Certainly not me, I would imagine. Oh, straight onto that. I don't see the referee clearing the ring of... Oh, some of that patented breakout of anything you do. I don't see the ref clearing the weapons and I do not see a line of sight check saying DQ on. So yes, let's have at it with the weapons. Larry feeling very nimble after his additional agility buff. Shit, how do you do... Oh, flaming beer bottle. Ooh. I always forget that you can set stuff on fire in this game, which you can do by pressing Z and X. The referee's doing a check, so that must mean it's a last man standing. Which, of course it is, as I just remembered. So, essentially what that means is you have to get the health to zero. Oh, flaming broom. Donkey kick, be careful. His health is almost zero. A few more of these, and the match is over. These are always pleasantly easy in difficulty, these matches. That should do it. Hey. Yeah, shame that wasn't a title match. But what can you do, eh? I still think when we didn't pay the damages for that arena, I bloody bet you that was our title match that was deleted. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, almost up to 20 grand in the bank. Hell yeah, that's a house deposit there. Ah. Oh. Is that a tournament I see? Why has Larry not booked in the tournament? Oh no, we are booked in the tournament. Let's hope this time we won't be fired or... How did we lose it last time? I represent a company that's making a video game about the wrestling industry. Tournament or 10,000 grand payoff? Did I say 10,000 grand? <laughs> See, I want to have fun with the tournament. Yeah, go fuck your shitty game. It's probably THQ. Right. Tournament, do I do it now or do I save it? I think I'm going to save it, I think, for episode 10, as I like to start them tournaments off as a whole episode, as a special tournament edition. So there we are, episode 10, tracking along as always. Liam Neeson is injured, hell yes, that is just one of the many permanent injuries that we will be inflicting on our enemies. 
so thank you for viewing thank you for sticking around and thank you for existing watching these exploits <laughs> yes this is yes hopefully we won't be kicked out of the fucking tournament like always historically Larry has never won a tournament so hopefully this will be the first time eh Jesus Christ we've won everything else except the tournament so yes stick around and see you in episode 11 thank you very much